All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Lakers Daily, where I post daily Los Angeles Lakers content. If you guys haven't already hit that sub button, we are so close to 4,000 subs trying to hit it here in the month of July. So first off, thank you to everyone tuning in to my live stream of the Lakers vs. Heat Summer League game. I will be live tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, which is when uh, they play Golden State for the second game. So I was actually really impressed. Uh, I knew kind of going into it that the Lakers had a very enticing summer league roster. There's a lot of bigger names. Guys like Scotty Brown, Scotty Brown Jr., Scotty Pippen Jr., uh, Max Christie, the brand new pickup, Mason Jones, a former Rocket. I'm really high on him just as a person. Sharif O'Neal, Mac McClung. There were some big names for the Lake Show tonight. And to be quite honest with you, I think for the most part, everybody did or at least ended pretty solid. Like, the only two players that come to the top of my head when I think of like anything close to a bad game, Max Christie, he started off 0-8. Most of them are good looks. Um, keep in mind, he was 31% three-point shooter. It's a, it's a marathon, not a race. It's just the issue with it is like, you know, the Lakers kind of need as many people as they can, but I think they did a really good job in free agency, so I don't think... I mean, honestly, if you had to rely on Max Christie, like an early second round pick to contribute this upcoming season, I mean, you know, it's not like the smartest thing in the world. So Max Christie started really slow, 0 of 8, and then he finished the game pretty solid. I will say he was very good at getting rebounds, finished just 2 of 11, but he had 9 rebounds, he had 3 assists, he had a steal. He was all over the place um, when he didn't have the ball in his hands, so this is something that, like I said, it's just going to take time. And then you had Scottie Pippen Jr. who came in, he had like he had 5 turnovers in the night in general, but he was fouling like a madman in the first quarter, he had like 3 fouls. You, have, you need like 10 to fall out, so it's not a worry, but a lot of fouls, a lot of turnovers, shots weren't falling. And then he had a breakaway layup, which kind of got his confidence going. Then he banked in a three. You could tell he wasn't that pleased. But he finished the day with 12 points, five rebounds, six assists. Sorry, six rebounds and three assists and 12 points. So Scottie Pippen Jr. definitely turned it around. He's one of those guys I'm just rooting for in general. And I think the fact that he got sent to the Lakers is, is even cooler. Or the Lakers picked him up, I should say. Mac McClung, Sharif O'Neal. Uh, both of them played really well. Sharif didn't play much, neither did Mac. They only saw about 15 minutes each. But Sharif, in his limited time, six points, six rebounds. He had an assist. He was in the right place. He had very underrated passes. He set up a lot of plays. That was nice to see. So, you know, Sharif O'Neal's box score isn't anything crazy, but the stuff he was doing without the ball or just the stuff that's not showing up in the stat sheet, I think, provided the Lakers with a good amount of shot creation. So, the big issue with the Lakers tonight was the rebounding was bad. The defense was good. The defense was everywhere on the court all night. I mean, the Lakers scored over 100 points. You don't see that much in the summer league, if at all. You know, I, I was saying to the stream, I'm like, I don't know if we'll see another 100-pointer. There will probably be a couple, but I mean, I <laughs> I wonder what the plus. I put the plus minus at like three, and now we're already one in. So. We'll be. I, I would love to be wrong on this, but I think the Lakers really did perfect, except for the offensive rebounding. They gave up like 20 offensive boards. Nobody was boxing out that well. Guys were just grabbing balls over them. This is why I was such a huge advocate for picking up Kai Soto for the summer league because he's seven foot three. Uh, Mac McClung though, he started a little bit slow. A lot of like you know, Christie, like Scotty, started a little bit slow. Finished 5 of 9 from the field, 17 points for a team high, had a couple rebounds, had a couple of assists. And then also Paris Bass. I got to show some love to Paris Bass because he is one of those low-key guys. He had 15 points, 6 rebounds tonight, but he was all over the court. He was playing phenomenal defense, saw about 9 minutes more, saw 24 minutes tonight. So saw a lot more time than Sharif and Mac McClung, and uh, he, he definitely made an impact on the stat sheet. I was very impressed by guys like, first off, Vito Brown came onto the, he scored like the, the Lakers' first five points. He had a nice three. They didn't play him too much after the first quarter until the end of the game, but I think Vito Brown played well. Cole Swider, I mean, he's so interesting because as some of the people in the in the stream are saying, like Cole might actually end up being part of the Lakers next season. He's a lot bigger than you would think. He's a power forward. Played about 20 minutes tonight, shot three of five from downtown, but finished with 13 points, six rebounds, and a block. Like a big man who can 
spread and stretch the floor, that's definitely something the Lakers are interested in. So, I mean, who knows what's going to happen, but Cole Swider had a phenomenal game, had a phenomenal summer league first game, and I'm excited to see how he does tomorrow. Jay Huff started really hot. He did good, 9.7 seven rebounds, two assists, and two blocks. He kind of slowed down after the first half, first quarter, but... I mean, still very nice showing from him. Mason Jones did a little bit of everything. He didn't shoot too well, only shooting one of five from the field. But eight points, four rebounds, six assists, and a steal. Mason Jones was definitely doing a very good job at initiating the offense. Last player that got minutes was Nate Pierre-Louis, which I was actually very impressed by him. He actually, you know, four points, two rebounds, a steal. He only saw 12 minutes. It was the lowest on the team. But Louis was reminding he honestly reminded me of a bigger gary payton like he almost posted he almost ended some dude or he almost put some dude on sports center. i shouldn't say end career but he almost put some dude on sports center late in the game his defense was hounding and he was kind of like a little energizer bunny and that's something that actually the lakers would use i think it's a lot of these guys just like with all summer league teams you know it's kind of a long shot to make the roster to at least see valuable minutes in the nba but I really liked what I saw from Nate Pierre-Louis tonight. I thought the defense was initiating offense, and I thought he was very impressive just for being a guy I don't really know much about. So I think all in all, the Lakers, I'd probably go ahead and give them an A. The only critique I can actually think of is more player-based, like just guys like Max Christie starting slow, Scotty starting slow, Max starting slow. Like Those are really the only three guys who started slow. But So like if I had to critique, it would be that and I don't even think that really counts as a team critique because it was more players so my only critique was offensive rebound I think I should be able to pull up the stat here how many offensive rebounds did they have they had 16 bro they had 16 offensive rebounds but don't put too much emphasis don't put too much like importance on this first game I mean the summer league in general shouldn't be taken that seriously these guys are fighting for roster spots some of them are fighting for minutes some of them are fighting to stay in the nba some of them are fighting to get to the nba like this is just a big opportunity for all these guys and you know when in the grand scheme of things nothing too crazy is going to go down a lot of people watch the summer league just to kind of scope out their draft picks like if you were a heat fan i had a lot of heat fans watch tonight nikola jovic uh but he played he played all right he only had three points one of six shooting but they didn't really include him in the offense so the Lakers are a little bit different because they're signing all these young cats that, you know, if there's one of these guys that, you know, could actually help them out right away or, you know, put them on a two-way contract, injuries happen, things happen, rosters change. Like, these are just good things to know if you're a Lakers fan. So that's it for today, man. Like I said, I'll see you guys tomorrow if you want to tune in at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time, Central Standard Time, sorry. And uh, if not, I will recap it for you guys afterwards. Saw some good news. Probably going to make a Kyrie video after this because I just saw some news that Kyrie and a Russ trade, like they're really pushing for it to happen. So hit the like button, hit that sub button. I appreciate you guys so much. I'll catch you guys later.